most about it is just exploring the world and being able to like take the time to when you when it took a long time to get from one zone to the next i kind of like that you get to explore everything and spend a lot of time in each place and then it ended up being this thing where you could like fast track your experience and they just kind of wanted to get you to the end game content and i get that for people who've been playing it for a long time but i kind of just miss that exploration and immersion factor i was never really into the pvp either so wow was one of those things that it used to be my style of game and then it actually kind of changed to be less my style of game I actually just picked up um, Elder Scrolls MMO for Xbox, believe it or not. So far, it's, it's pretty cool. Sleeping night. Oh, they're all sleeping night. See, I knew that was going to happen. Oh, damn. I go back. What's it? What's happening? Now Chris has like smokers long. I don't really see where there's even a clue here to tell me what to do. Oh, what the heck? Yeah, I... I knew that they recently uh, had that issue with the, um, there were some servers that people made that uh, they could play vanilla WoW on, and then Blizzard shut it down, and it seemed kind of random because it had been going on for a long time, so maybe that's a sign that they actually want to have their own uh, version of that, legacy servers. And I would be so down to play that. Oh, I figured it out. At the same time though, it'd be kind of cool to play the newer zones with like the older game style, if that makes sense. Because I wouldn't really necessarily want to play the same areas again. What the heck is this? Hmm. Press the switch. Death mask without eyes, nose, or mouth. Cool, that's good advice. I'll keep an eye on uh, what's going on. Um, have you been playing uh, Overwatch at all? Is that a game that interests you? Are you a Blizzard fan or just a WoW fan?
I'm gonna continue. What the heck? Okay, I'm gonna check out that door. Oh, nice, nice. It's funny, actually. Um, Overwatch is the one Blizzard franchise. I mean, it's the newest one, but it's the only one that I have not experienced. I played a ton of StarCraft, a ton of, War ton of Warcraft, even the RTS Warcraft games, and um, Diablo. I played a ton, too much of every single Diablo. Love Diablo. But yeah, not Overwatch. I'm not I'm not huge into first person gaming for that style of thing, like competitive gaming, but I've heard Overwatch is kind of a different flavor of it. I don't I don't play Call of Duty and stuff, that's kinda of what I mean by that. I find it stressful, like I end up just being stressed out. But uh apparently Overwatch is, is pretty cool. Even for people like me, maybe. Okay, I feel like I need to go down. Hey, you know what? Jimsy just said the right thing because I love Team Fortress 2. So. so I'm just trying to like also figure out what I'm doing here. Let me try and go this way again. Uh, what do you play Overwatch on? PC? Okay, yes, I can throw away the key now. Finally, Jesus. Oh yeah, this creepy ass room. This music is awesome. Are you kidding? I just put that key away. Uh, like abilities based on who you can play against, or like who your, who the opponent's team uh, is composed of. Like, if you have a lot of healers, then you can use that style of thing. Oh, okay. You mean uh, FF fifteen, or are you just skipping fifteen and waiting for sixteen? <laughs> Might not be a bad idea. This is a cool shot. Where's that can candle shot? Yeah, that's so cool. I can't name any games that nail the mood of Resident Evil. Every room has a history. I love that. It's so great. These creative camera angles. Footprints look like they're headed straight through the bed. I don't even know what that means. Oh, okay, cool. Three spells. Um, do you kind of are there like loadouts, or do you always have those three spells whenever you want, or do you choose before you enter in the match?
Okay, I'm gonna read this. Researchers will. There is a letter. <clears throat> June 3rd, 1998. My dearest Alma, let me first apologize for not being able to call you. A man wearing sunglasses didn't permit any phone calls. Sorry, Alma. I see you're trying to think of where to begin, of how to explain in a few simple words all that's happened in my life since we last spoke, and already I fail. I hope this letter finds you well and that you feel you'll forgive the tangents of my pen. This isn't easy for me. See, this is great already. Even as I write, I can feel the simplest concepts slipping away, lost through feelings of despair and confusion. Confusion. But I have to tell you what's in my heart before I can rest. Alma, please believe what I'm telling you is the truth. The entire story would take hours for me to tell you, and time is short, so accept these as fact. Last month there was an accident in the lab, and the virus we were studying leaked. All my colleagues who were infected are dying, dead or dying and the nature of the disease is such that those still living have lost their senses. This virus robs the victim of their humanity, forcing them to, in their sickness to seek out and destroy life. Even as I write these words, I can hear them, pressing against the door like mindless, hungry animals. Alma, I have tried to survive only to see you again, but my efforts only delay the inevitable. I am infected, and there is no cure for what will follow, except to end my life before I lose the only thing that separates me from them. My love for you. In an hour I'll have entered my eternal sleep where there is peace. Please understand. Please know that I'm sorry. Martin Crackhorn. Not too bad that his name's so funny. Uh. Okay. So 20 different characters with 3 spells each, that's that's a lot, that's 60, 60 spells in all. I watched a video on YouTube about um, how Blizzard came up with a lot of the more popular characters, and uh, it's pretty cool. They, they all have a basis in something else, like they're all, like, um, either they're based on staff members or like, you know, bits of anime here and there and all sorts of stuff. It's kind of cool. I heard that's one of the better things about it is all the characters actually have character even though there's 20 of them. What's this? Oh, this is like B comes alive or something, I think. No. Actually, maybe yes. Yeah. What about this place? Damn it. A lot of bugs. The bug heavy room. Alright. Are do they have a schedule for how often they're updating the game? Have they mentioned anything like that? Like, do they have a specific, like, would be this many characters by the end of next year or something? I'll have to pick it up. Seems like 